Hello, hello. Happy Sunday crafternoon. My name is Dawn Borchette and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And it is Sunday crafternoon with Dawn. It's 1 p.m. Eastern time. And as you hop on, make sure to say hi as I get a little situated here because I don't want to miss as you guys say hi and all that good stuff. Let's see. There we go. All right. Awesome. Oh my goodness. Now I just made that <laughs> worse than what it was. It figures. I do that every single time. What is up with that? So once again, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday crafternoon. And I'm glad that you're here. And if you're watching the replay, go ahead and say hi anyway and just hashtag replay. Um, you can view it here. You'll be able to view it at my blog at dawnscreativechalet.com because I'm going to post everything over there along with pictures of the projects today and also on YouTube. And thank you to those who are subscribing to my YouTube channel. It's growing every week. And that makes me so happy, you guys. Thank you so much. Um, I'm working to get enough subscribers so that we can actually use YouTube as a live event. Wouldn't that be fun, right? So slowly and surely we're growing and thanks to you. So thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you who hang out with me every Sunday or thereafter if you're not able to do so on Sundays. I get it. Life happens. So anyway, let's jump in today. Right now we have our mini catalog along with our annual catalog that's active. This catalog is active till the end of December and it's all of our holiday good stuff, right? Um, so anything fall and Christmas related and the holidays in between. So it's a lot of fun. This is always my favorite catalog is the seasonal one. Uh, as we call it July through December catalog. I am old school and I still call it the holiday mini catalog that is not so mini. And then we have celebration going on until the end of August. And we are in August, hard to believe, but true. So we have until the end of August to take advantage of celebration. And for those of you who are new to the Stampin' Up! world or and with me, Celebration is a great time to get free stuff. We love free. Hello, Donna. How are you? Happy Sunday. Hey, Evelyn. Hi. Happy Sunday crafternoon. So anyway, with $50 or $100 in... Oh my gosh. Let's try this again. $50 or $100 increments... You can choose products out of the celebration brochure. And you can contact me directly if you need help with an order. I'd be happy to help you. Or if you want to go on your own and do some shopping online, I have my online store and I've set up the August host code. So uh, feel free to use that. And that lets me know that it's associated with this month. And also, just to let you know, if your order is $150 or more, please do not use the host code. Make sure to go ahead and collect what we call those Stampin' um, Rewards for yourself. That's basically free product, and that starts at the $150 mark when you uh, place an order with me, either directly or at my online store. So anyway, that takes care of all that stuff. Now, speaking of celebration, I just wanted to point something out. And I need to post this again right here. I'm on my page and in my community group. But uh, Stampin' Up! has decided to add more products to offer during celebration. So if you've already gotten what you would like to have out of the celebration brochure, wait, there is more, right? There is more stuff. So you can grab these items up, um, whether it's a 50 or $100 purchase. And if you wanna choose two 
$50 items for your $100, you can do that too. So it's pretty awesome. So I'll be posting this um, once I'm done. And I even made myself a note because I can't remember if I posted this a few days ago when this went active. So, hey, Kathy, how are you? Happy Sunday Crafternoon to you. This is so weird because I am seeing, I know I get on this little tangent every Sunday. So I'm seeing some of the comments on my laptop, which is to the right of me. I'm seeing comments because I can see just above I'm short and I have a stand for my phone as I'm using it for my camera. And I can see some of you joining there. And now my iPad <laughs> is finally showing a couple of you here. I don't get it. Facebook is so goofy. I tell you. Hi, Terry. How are you? Happy Sunday afternoon. It's good to have you here with us. Thanks for joining. So let's go ahead. What we're going to do today, I like to feature during celebration. Oh, actually, before we do get stamping, I'm sorry. I do have some more things, but I will show you what we're going to feature today. So these hippos have been super, super popular, super cute, and they are still available. So you, we're going to use both the stamp set and the dies today just to kind of feature both and um, they are available and it sounds like they should be available cross our fingers for a little while yet but i would say grab them sooner than later if you haven't gotten your hippos yet and you've been eyeing these because the items in this uh, celebration brochure are while supplies last but before um, it ran out. Apparently, they did already have an order to make sure that they had enough of the Rings of Love paper. That is back in stock, just to let you know. Um, these will not be returning. They are out. And let's see, what else? These are out for sure because, unfortunately, our dyes are made overseas. And they realized that if they were to try to reorder these, the order probably wouldn't come in until after celebration was over. So that's kind of a bummer because I know there's a lot of bummed people that didn't get this, but I kept saying, you guys, while supplies last, grab them fast. And then this is also available once again because the paper is what was out and they had previously made an order and the paper is made in the U.S. So they were able to get this back. So this right here for the $100 purchase, if you are if you were wanting this and you couldn't get it about a week ago, it's available now. So that's a good thing, right? We love free stuff and hey, it's all good. Okay, this is driving me crazy because I know my camera's kind of at an angle. Anyway, so today we are featuring the hippos. So what I'm gonna do is make just a couple of cards with you guys because stamping is fun, right? And then I also have been involved in a few swaps with other demonstrators. And with that, I got a lot of cards made with the hippos. So it's all about sharing, I believe. And since other than my gals who come here to stamp with me, they sit there by themselves looking all pretty, <laughs> not getting a lot of love. So I thought, you know what, why not? I'm gonna show you guys some of my swap cards that I've received, and I just thought it would be great to share them with you. So we'll do that after we're done stamping. Hey, Kristen, how are you? So um, yeah, so that's what we're up to today. Also, just to let you know, a couple of other things. Um, if you haven't already, like I mentioned, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would be awesome. And when you do subscribe to any YouTube channel, make sure you hit that bell and it will turn black. That means that you're going to get all the notifications from that particular channel, like myself, when I'm adding yet another video. And then also I am on Pinterest, so I would love to share with you on Pinterest as well, and of course reciprocate and, and follow you as well. 
And that's under Dawn Bourget, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. And then I also have a Facebook community. So if you've somehow bumped into my page, maybe accidentally, but right now you're on my business page, feel free to join my community as well, which is the Chalet Paper Crafting Community. And if you have it and you're watching me, make sure to like this page and then do a follow because apparently when you click the like button, that's liking it, but then following my business page is totally different. So then you have to click on those little dots, I guess. I don't know, Facebook makes you jump through hoops, I think. <laughs> but anyway, so you can actually follow so that you can see all the posts. I know, isn't it confusing? And then they change it every month, so yikes. <laughs> Some other things that are going on at the chalet. Um, Friday, so Thursday the 18th, that, that is already closed because I've just ordered the product for it and it's a product-based class. So the sign up for the 18th is already done. But on Friday, August the 19th, we have coffee and a card, sip and stamp at our local Starbucks in Ludington, Michigan. And you may join me. There's no RSVP necessary. That's 12 noon to 2 p.m. And then as we get into, by the way, this is a free make and take. So you get to make one card. Um, feel free to grab a cup of coffee if you'd like, but it's not necessary, which is kind of cool. Also, as we get into September, we have the creative card class. We'll be doing some Halloween cards. That'll be on September the 9th. And then towards the end of September, we have a product-based class. So that does include, oh gosh, speak Dawn. It does include product with the class. And that is going to be the storybook gnomes. Those gnomes are so cute. And it's going to be $37 with a $5 coupon to use on any order. Um, on the creative card class is $25 or free with a minimum order, so. There you go. A couple more things just to mention. We have some newer stuff. So as you guys may know, we have a kits collection and they're very reasonably priced. They range between $12 and $25, depending on if you'd like to stamp or not stamp. Our newest addition to the collection is called All is Cozy and Bright. This kit, it you can't really tell in the picture, but there's some gold accents in it, and the whole background here is already done for you. So it makes it look like you've become a card artist, right? <laughs> so anyway, it is item 160338, it's $23. It makes 12 cards and it has the envelopes included, which are already decorated. And there is a stamp set that goes along with it. So you'll get um, a block, a acrylic block for your stamps, along with um, an ink spot, we call them. It's a little, it's a baby ink pad, <laughs> which is always really cute. And this became available on August 3rd. So I just wanted to make sure that everybody knows about this. So it's uh, obviously a holiday card. So if you're into making holiday cards, but you want something a little bit easier this year, this will make 12, so not bad, $23. And then also just want to remind you guys once again, of the paper pumpkin kit for August is called Sweet Sunflowers. Oh my gosh, look at that beautiful box. Like, I'm gonna wanna keep the box and display it, it's so pretty. <laughs> anyway, so if you would like, and if you're not already receiving paper pumpkin, make sure to do so by the 10th of this month. That's the magic date for the month of paper pumpkin. Um, so yeah, grab it up by the 10th if you would like to get the Sweet Sunflowers kit. And just once again, to remind you guys about the whole paper pumpkin thing during celebration. So there are perks if you do a prepaid subscription starting in as far as like three months. So if you just want the one month, there's no real perks for celebration other than you're gonna get a beautiful kit. Um, as you enter the three month, six month, and 12 month, you'll start to earn free stuff with celebration because that is included as far as 
products that you're purchasing. And you can purchase these right at my online store. Just make sure if you do purchase a prepaid subscription, you're going to get an email from Paper Pumpkin. This is so important because I've had people getting a little confused about this. You're going to receive an email from Paper Pumpkin. So when you sign up for it, don't give a bogus email. This is really like something you need to do. So make sure that you give a valid current email. They're going to email you pretty quickly and they're going to give you some easy instructions on how to activate your paper pumpkin subscription. So do that before the 10th of this month if you want this month's kit. I hope <laughs> it was probably as clear as mud, right? But if you need any help with that, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy, happy, happy to help you. Okay, so let's see, what are we going to do today with these little hippos? I'll show you guys. So I, I was messing around and um, this, is, <laughs> this is what I came up with. Um, I thought it was kind of fun. We're gonna mix and mash several stamp sets with the hippos. Um, the hippos are cute in themselves with the dyes that you can earn for free. And they have a lot of little accessories, which I'll show you in some of my swap cards that I've received. But I wanted to do something completely different than what I've gotten as far as my swap cards go. So there's that one, and then there's this one. Now, there was a demonstrator who I believe is overseas who kind of sort of inspired me with this, but I did a little... I, mine's a little different, just a little, but I loved it. And I love to make backgrounds that are super easy and with an aqua painter and the reinker um, or ink refills. I always call them reinkers. I don't know why, but I do. Anyway, so I thought we would do a little fun with that just to give you some, maybe a different idea on um, doing some funky backgrounds and then putting this card together as well. And I've already cut out all the bits and pieces for it. In fact, I think I even started coloring a few of the pieces just so that we wouldn't be here all afternoon because I'm not a super fast person when it comes to coloring. <laughs> so, um, hey, Kathy, how are you? Happy Sunday afternoon. So anyway, these are the two cards that we're going to mess around and make today. And then, like I said, I have a whole bunch of swap cards that show off these cute little hippos as well. Alrighty, so I think what we'll do, we'll do the messy one first, and that is this one right here. And I've cut a piece of basic black cardstock at five and a half by eight and a half. I scored it at four and a quarter. And then I'm using, now I know I've done a little bit of watercoloring with our basic white paper, and remember how I told you guys, if you put too much water on our basic white cardstock, what happens? It pills like a sweater. That's not cool. <laughs> we don't want that. We don't want our cards to be fuzzy. Um, well, maybe you do, I don't know. Anyway, today we're actually going to use our Fluid 100 watercolor paper. And I've cut it down to, I think this is like four by six in size. But anyway, nonetheless, I've cut it down to four by five and a quarter. And we're just gonna make a mess. Are you guys ready? <laughs> so I've taken this block, it's our biggest block that we have and it's heavy. And I think this is, is this an E or an F? It's an F, F size block. And we're going to use this as like a palette for our uh, ink refills. I figure that's the easiest way to do it. Make sure I'm not cutting this off from your view and get this out of the way for now. Make sure I can find it though. And then um, let's get some reinkers. So I decided to focus on our five new ink colors, which is Sweet Sorbet, Parakeet Party, Tahitian Tide, Orchid Oasis, and Starry Sky. And then I also have, let's see here, our, 
I'm always calling these aqua painters, but they're called water painters. I guess it's the same thing, right? <laughs> aqua, water, it's close. You know what I mean. Anyway, so this is our newer set. I have some of the really old ones yet with the blue vial. Uh, I decided to finally break these out of the package, but they come in a package of three, which is pretty cool. And they each have a different size tip on it. So we're gonna use this one for our background. And I was gonna color watercolor as well um, with the ink pads. So I don't know, we'll see. I also have my Stampin' Blends of all five colors out because I'll be using them on the next card. So I thought, well, maybe I'll use them on this. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, ooh, that is loose and it's going to start getting water all over my table. So to use these, you just use tap water. They unscrew at the top-ish. Now, <laughs> now, okay, there we go. I was gonna say, now I tightened it too tight. That would be smart. Anyway, so I filled it with tap water under my sink and the spigot. And we're gonna go ahead. And to me, they screw on backwards. I don't know, maybe it's just me because I am blonde, it's all good. Anyway, so we're going to use these. I filled them both. And I like to use a lot of water. And yeah, let's see. So first of all, let's go ahead and we're going to use the Sweet Sorbet. And I'm just gonna put a couple of drops on here. I like to use my blocks as a palette because they're easy to wipe off and clean. That's what it is. It's all about easy with me because as you guys know, I'm kind of lazy like that. <laughs> and then also I've grabbed some paper towel so I can um, wash these brushes in between because I can really make a mess if I want to. So I'm going to squeeze it just a little bit, get a little bit of water going there. Ooh, isn't that fun? Isn't that pretty? I'm going to go ahead and I'm just gonna scribble, scribble, scribble. And we'll add just a little more color. So I like it nice and vibrant. And then to clean the brush, I just squeeze it and rinse it out. That's all you need to do. The next color we're gonna use is Parakeet Punch. I love this color. I'm really partial to like bright, bright green. My last studio was this color with black and white and like a parakeet punch color. I miss, I miss my studio. <laughs> All right, we're gonna scribble, 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 scribble. Woo, isn't that crazy looking? <laughs> oh gosh, okay, let's see here. Next color, Tahitian Tide. This way too, when you use a block that's this size, it gives you some room so that they don't hopefully bleed into each other. Yeah, a little bit of water there. So what have you guys been up to this weekend? Have you done anything fun? Share, I wanna, I wanna know what you guys have been doing this weekend. Anybody get a little bit inky this weekend? A little bit crafty? Wanted to check and make sure I didn't miss saying hi to anybody. All right, and then this next color is Orchid Oasis. And I don't know about you guys, but I find it quite relaxing when I watch other people craft. <laughs> I don't know, I just do. Ooh, isn't that a cool color? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And you think this one's pretty. Wait till we get to Starry Sky. That one is pretty awesome too. Starry Sky. All right, and again, a little bit of water. Make a little bit of a mess. Isn't that cool? I love that color. Love it. So pretty. And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do, just for time's sake, first of all, we're gonna go ahead and Wipe that up just so I don't get it all over myself. See how easy that was to clean that up? I love it. And I'm going to use 
the heat tool that I have laying around because I can't seem to find my Stampin' Up! heat tool is probably in storage with 80% of my stuff. In fact, I'm going to take this and I see a pool that's going to make an accident here if I didn't get rid of that. So I just like to shoot it really quick with the heat tool. Expedites the dry time. All right. Perfection. And then go ahead and I cut out a whole bunch of hippos. In fact, they're falling right out of here. Look at the hippo family. They're just, they're ready to be shown on a card. Let's see here. We're going to do... Uh, Let's do every other one, just like I did in the other one, ballerinas. And then we're going to need two of this guy. It looks like he's dancing. <laughs> I just think these are so cute. I mean, how can you not smile with smiley hippos? Okay. And then just to show you guys the dies, kind of up close and personal. I think that they're so cute. So they have a little bucket tiny stars. We have the flowers and the umbrella. These are waves for water. This cuts and embosses. Um, you have a little lifesaver for the boat, which is right here. This also cuts and embosses. You have the water goggles. Um, what else? The water splashing. And this is a little propeller for the boat. At first, I wasn't sure what that was. I'm like, what is that? We also have the hearts. Um, some sunnies, sunglasses, and this looks like it must be grass, uh, a birthday hat, a snorkel. Um, it looks like this is another little flower. So just some really fun stuff, fun stuff. Okay, anyway, Dawn, zip it. I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> We're just going to color these instead of um, water coloring. I'm going to go ahead and just color these up very quickly. Like I said, I'm not very good at coloring. I'm already out of the lines. That's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? I don't know about you guys, but I'm OCD just a bit. So this whole thing with coloring just frustrates me. I'm like, oh, it's not perfect. Okay, so we colored her and then let's see. One thing that I love, and this is just to kind of point out here, that um, Stampin' Up! is awesome with coordination of product. And this is just a great example of that as far as um, our ink, our ink pads, um, our blends, Stampin' Blends, the, I want to say watercolor markers. They're water-based markers. And ribbons, all of it, color coordinates perfectly, which really helps when you are creating. Um, there's nothing more frustrating. I can remember years ago, I used to go to the bargain stores or grab up things that were on sale um, at big box stores because I thought, oh, that's kind of cute. I might be able to use it for something. Hey, Kathy. Hi. Happy Sunday afternoon. And um, find a deal on it, throw it into my stash of stuff. And the problem was nothing really, really matched perfectly. So I would spend a half hour digging through things that would be the closest match. Now I think back on it, I'm like, hey, gads, that was a lot of waste of time. I don't know. I'm just, I like instant gratification. I like to, when I'm crafty, I mean, I enjoy the process, but it's very frustrating when you have to sit there and dig for a while to find things that match. Stampin' Up! does all that hard work for you. Now I'm just using the color lifter because this is like super, super, super dark. And I just wanted to lighten it up a little bit. 
And I've been kind of digging playing with these with the color lifter a bit too. Kind of fun. All right, let's see here. And we're gonna color his tummy the other two colors. So we have Parakeet Party. Every time I say that, I have to watch myself. I'm still wanting to call this Parakeet Punch. What is wrong with me? <laughs> oh my goodness sakes, anyway. And then also, let's see here, the other color I need yet was uh, Oasis, Orchid Oasis. Yeah. This is such a pretty color, whoops. Squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> Can you guys hear that? That is so funny. All right, there we go. And then again, I'm gonna use the color lifter a little and lift some of this up on his tummy. And maybe a little bit on this guy, on his tummy, and we'll just call it good. Okay. Love my blends. How many of you guys have a collection of these? Like even the ones that retired, I just cannot seem to like let go. Those are something that um, I do get rid of a lot of retired product when it does go, but the blends, no, I keep those. Okay, we're gonna have a little happy family of hippos there. So I need a strip of paper. This is basic white. It's a one quarter inch strip and it's just kind of like scrap paper. And I thought I would put the sentiment on that. Also, dimensionals, right? <laughs> it wouldn't be a Dawn card without dimensionals. I love dimensionals. How about you guys? Um, I'm addicted to these. I think every card I make has to have something that's popped a little bit. I don't know. There's something about um, giving a card a little bit of extra dimension to it. I mean, basically, it's just little sticky foam dots for those of you who are like, what is she talking about? What is a dimensional? It's just foam with sticky on both sides, and it's a great way to just uh, give your card that little extra pop, as far as I'm concerned. That's just my opinion. <laughs> I should have stock in Stampin' Dimensionals because I use them on absolutely everything. Now she's gonna, I'm gonna have her off the side just a little bit because we're gonna end up putting this on our basic black card base. And he's gonna be jamming. Looks like he's just dancing away. And let's see here. And put this one down here. Oh, aren't they cute? I just, this card makes me happy. And it's nothing, you know, too complicated. I would say this would be a great beginner card to get familiar with using the water painters and our stamp, um, here we go again, re-inkers, stamp ink refills, I should say. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this directly on here with some seal adhesive. I thought that would be a fun color so that all of the in colors really pop against the black. And then the sentiment here, love you a ton, because there's just a ton of hippos on this card. Go ahead, get my Memento black ink pad. Hopefully this will be on straight. I always hold my breath, especially when I'm live. I'm like, oh, please stamp straight. <laughs> Let's see here and go ahead and ink up that little stamp and oh, that's not too bad, right? Not too shabby. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and clean that off before I get ink all over the place. I really appreciate you guys being here. We have a good crowd today. That's awesome. And if you would like, please feel free to share so more of your stamping friends can join on in or at least find out about me. 
I always say the more the merrier, right? More the merrier. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna to, gonna wing it with cutting that with my snips. Use my, sn I wanted to call it snail. We used to have snail, this is seal. Everything is like animals or edibles, I swear. Anyway, I'm gonna put this right here, like so, and that is card number one. Whoop, whoop. Show me some hearts if you like the rainbow hippos. <laughs> I'm not sure what else to call them, rainbow hippos. All right, that is a fun card though. I really, really like it. Okay, let's get this stuff set aside and let's do the next card. In fact, I tell you what, and I know a friend of mine's done this and she's here. If you guys comment about which card between the two that we make today, I'm gonna do something that she's done. I'm gonna draw a name and I'm gonna send the card to you. How's that? So just put down which card you like best between this one or the other that we'll be making. And I will draw two names to send out two cards. I'll have to message you in case it's somebody who is new with us here to get your mailing address. So if you feel comfortable enough giving me your mailing address, um, go ahead and comment today. And then I'll send some happy mail to you because hey, that's what it's all about, right? I can't use all these cards on my own. I need to share them. All right, let's go ahead and do the next one. So this card right here, we've mashed up with a few other sets. So I wanted to show it to you. So first of all, this stamp right here, I've had in my stash for a while and it's in the annual catalog. I love it, it's grungy and it's fun but I haven't used it yet. So I thought, you know, it'd be kind of cool to kind of feature the hippos with it. So we're going to use this as the background. And then I'm also going to use Jingle, Jingle, Jingle. And this is in the July through December book. I was gonna say holiday mini, same thing. <laughs> but anyway, technically that is our catalog. So I'm using this one. This does not have a die set. So if you guys are looking at me like, how does she do that? I've had to cut them out, okay, on my own. But it's such a cool, fun set. I love the whimsical font of this. You know what I mean? It's just, it's fun. So anyway, so we're using that today. And then we are also going to use a little bit of Snowman Magic. So I am using the scarf. What else did I use? I think that was the only thing. Yeah, I think it was just the scarf that I'm using. So if you're wondering where that came from, Snowman Magic, it does have a die set. And just to show you guys that die set real quick, because I know in the catalog, it's kind of small. <laughs> it's hard to really tell. So you can cut out the snowman. You can cut out all the bits and pieces, including his little arms. There is a background, which is really neat. And then, of course, the, the hats, um, stars, all that good stuff. It's super, super cute. This and this is not even a part of the stamp set itself, but you can cut these out and they'll coordinate with that. Pretty awesome. I love it. It's very, very cute. And snowmen, you can never go wrong because snowmen are an all winter thing, right? And I'm in Michigan along the Lake Michigan shoreline. And I think winter here lasts about nine months. <laughs> so this is appropriate for nine months. It's not, I wouldn't call it a holiday set, so to speak. It's just a matter of thinking of you during those cold winter months when we're hoping for the sun to come back. Anyway, so that's what we're using today. So with that being said, oh, and I also made this one. So I'm kind of going with the theme of using three of our newer in colors, which again is Sweet Sorbet, Tahitian Tide, and Parakeet Party. So yeah. Awesome. 
Alrighty, so I've cut everything already. And for those of you who have never used a background stamp, because we do have some new people here, I just wanted to do a quick 101 on background stamping. So we purchased these heavy duty blocks. This is our biggest block. Like I said, I believe that this is F. Yes, it's an F block. And you can buy our blocks separately or you can buy them as a bundle. So with the F block, um, that's what you use with our background stamps, which is just one big piece of rubber. <laughs> so with that being said, just to show you guys really quick, I'm going to get a scrap piece of paper. And I always like to set my block, depending on if you're left or right-handed though, okay? I am right-handed. So I will set my block on the left-hand side. And then I take my stamp and I put it upside down and I leave it laying on the table. I find that this is the best way to ink up a big stamp, right? If you sit here and you hold it like this, it's just awkward. So I like to leave it laying flat on the table and inking it while it's laying on the table. This way too, it gives you a chance to see that it's been completely inked up, that you have ink all over that surface easy peasy right and then i've cut a piece of four by five and a quarter basic white cardstock and i'm going to lay it down directly onto the stamp because normally we do just the opposite right with these big blocks and the big stamp they're heavy and again they're awkward so and you don't want to give the thing like cpr and pounce on it because sometimes around the edges you can, I don't know, it just stamps kind of wonky sometimes. So anyway, I take a piece of my grid paper is usually the easiest. I just lay it on top and I just give it a little bit of love. Probably shaking the camera, I'm sorry. <laughs> Get you guys dizzy in the process of it. But anyway, this is how I like to do my background stamping. And then once I think I have given it enough love, there you have it, right there. Super simple. So, like I said, if you're struggling with using the background stamps, um, thinking that, gosh, these things are way too heavy, super easy. And then, when you want to clean it off, I just take my Simply Chamois, and all it has in this is water. Wipe it down, you're good to go. Just like that. It's like magic. Okay. I don't know why, I just thought, you know, I'd like to show them that, just cause. Cause I've already done it for this card, so. And I've got all my bits and pieces here. So what I've done, along with cutting out the hippo, um, there, this was from Magical Snowman as well, this little hat. And then these little stars are from Magical Snowman as well. And, the, no, I'm sorry. These were from Jingle Jingle Jingle, along with the lights, the words, the little ornament, and this uh, little bow tie. In fact, I'm gonna get this piece out of here because it's gonna be very distracting, providing that I don't lose any of my bits and pieces. It's wanting to stick right to it. <laughs> All right, there we go. I colored half of it because once again, I'm a slow colorer and I didn't want you guys to get bored and just say, you know what, she's just, she's way out there, I'm leaving. Anyway, with that being said, um, I'm gonna color the hat. And this is again a sweet sorbet. I decided to stick within uh, the in color or in colors, the newer ones that we have right now. These are the 22, 24 in colors. And for those who may be newer to Stampin' Up, we have five new in colors introduced each year with our annual catalog. And our newest annual catalog came out in May, I believe, if I got that right. I'm 
so confused. Anyway, and uh, they're with us for two years, and then it continues. So then we have another in color that retires, and a new one comes in. It's kind of fun, which is nice because then we're always introduced to some new colors along with our palette of four color families. I'm going to go ahead and color this little star in. I don't want to lean in and have you guys see my forehead, so <laughs> I am hope I'm within the lines. All right, so there's that, and then I'm going to color these parakeet party. So I have those all colored up. So we have our stars, our hat, our lights. That doesn't need to be colored. I stamp, whoops, I stamp this in Tahitian Tide. And then, oh, I had this little guy too. He was kind of a random. This is also the little candy cane. And I think the ornament, which I had already told you, this is from Jingle 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 as well. And then these little letters I cut out. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the light and dark sweet sorbet. And I kind of want to give like a, oh, what do you want to call it? An ombre effect. So I lay them out just to kind of, I mean, they don't have to be perfect. But just kind of sort of a line-ish as far as where the dark will go. And then we'll use the lighter version. Um, our Stampin' Blends come in a set of two and they have a light and a dark version of the color, which is kind of fun. It's for shading and all that fun stuff. All right, and then we're gonna add the lighter color the rest of the way up. Those are tiny, it's hard to hold on to these. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is use my color lifter. And then on the very top, we're gonna to make it even lighter. So it's like a rainbow ombre effect, however you wanna put it. If you guys can see that it's lighting up just a little bit. I just thought it'd be kind of fun. You know, it's always in the details, right? And then the top of the J. And I didn't really color the hippo at all. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of our liquid glue. And I had stamped this. Oh my goodness. I don't want a big blob to come out. I have a tendency to want to squeeze this thing too hard and then all of a sudden it goes all over. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can relate, right? Anyway, come on, little guy. I just don't want to get it like a hot mess. There we go. Little tiny bit of glue. And I'm going to give him a scarf. And even though you really can't see it that much, I just feel, again, it's always in the details. And then we're going to add his hat. So he has a Santa hat. Uh, oops, see, that came out just a little bit too fast that time. I'm going to go ahead and give him a hat. Isn't that cute? And then I want to attach him with dimensionals. And if, by the way, you're liking some of these items that I'm using and you don't already have them in your cra craft stash, and you would like to collect them. Notice how I say collect, because I think part of this is the collection, right? <laughs> the collection and then the making. Anyway, uh, you can go to my blog, and in about a half hour, I'll have a list set, so you can click on those links and shop right at my store. Try to make it super easy. Okay, I want him to look like he's kind of dancing. And we're going to go ahead and add, oh no, that came out a little too fast. Oh goodness. <laughs> add him holding the lights. That's what I thought it'd be kind of fun to do. He's holding the Christmas lights. He's decorating. 
And then, let's see. I'm gonna get my picket tool and pick up one of these stars. We're gonna put one, I think right here, one here, maybe. Come on, glue, cooperate. It's kind of like it either wants to come out all at once or not at all. Okay, so we're gonna stick a star there. And where did the other glue go? There it is. Stick a star there. And a star right there. Okay, so far so good. He's rocking, right? He's jamming. Now the other thing I wanna do is um, we also have mini dimensionals. Fun size, as I call them. And I thought it would be fun to pop up these letters. Now you're saying, what the heck? That doesn't really spell anything, but it's going to. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. I think I'll pop up these three that I colored and then the other two we'll leave to go ahead and directly glue to the card itself. And then let's see here, the L and the Y. What's really cool, and I started thinking about it, when you take all these letters, I mean, we don't have the whole alphabet in that set, but between the words believe, jolly, and jingle, you could cut out these letters and make other words instead. Get a little creative, right? Okay, so there's the J, and then the O is going to be the ornament. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on that. And then I cut out the bow to put on top of the ornament. I'm already getting glue all over my fingers and you know what that means. Sticky wicky. Okay, there. And then the L. I don't know why, I just thought that this was so much fun. <laughs> and then we're gonna use one of the candy canes as the other L. And then, whoops, there we go. And then the Y. In fact, I had this little itty bitty straggler and I thought it would be cute. Let's see. We'll use yeah, this color. Little itty bitty light. And I thought, you know what? Let's use that. And we're going to attach this just for something fun to the bottom of this L. All right, and then we need to attach this entire thing with dimensionals to my card base, which is Sweet Sorbet. And I cut this, I believe, at four, yep, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. Okay, dokie. And here we go. There we are. How cute is that? Ta-da! <laughs> Just makes me so happy. Oh my goodness. So let me know if you like the, we're gonna call this one the Jingle Jingle Jingle, okay? The Jingle 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 card. Or, I'm gonna move this up so you can see them. Or do you like the, let's call him In Color Rainbow. Jingle, 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 or In Color Rainbow card and comment. And later on today, I'll go through, maybe tonight, I'll go through and draw some names. And you can have one of these fun cards made by yours truly. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys enjoyed those. Now, before you go, 
like I said, I have some other ideas that I'd love to share with you as far as swap cards go. I have a lot, but we'll see. How are we doing on time? Oh my goodness, I've already been here almost an hour. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll try to get through these fast. Okay, now some of these I have to apologize. I've lost the names on the back of the card. So, um, yeah, I like to give credit where credit is due. But like I said, some of these, I don't have the name attached to them. This is such a cute card, and this is one of those that didn't have the name attached. I know it came from a bundle swappers group that I'm in. Isn't this cute? It's a slimline card, and I just think it's absolutely adorable. And I love that she used several of the different accessory dies that you can earn for free during celebration. Like the little glasses, and they got the flowers, the umbrella. I just think it's adorable. Super cute. All right, and then we have this. Okay, this I thought was so clever. This is actually a little pillow gift that I got with a package of swaps. And um, I'm thinking, well, I don't know for sure, so I'm not gonna say the name. I did not come up with this idea, but check this out. There are, whoops, yeah, that's right. Hippo cookies. I'm sure you can get these at Amazon. How cute is that? Isn't that adorable? I love it. I've, I have been so good not eating the cookies. <laughs> All right, this card here was made by Lori Healing. I think it's absolutely adorable. He's falling into the bucket. I think I actually showed this card one other time when I was showcasing the, uh, the stamp set Amazing Phrasing. But anyway, I love it. I think it's adorable. Besides that, there's pink in it, and it matches my fingernails. Then we have this card here. Unfortunately, these note cards and envelopes are no longer available but I just thought that that was really super cute. Also used some of the Splendid Day DSP in it, which I think is this nice, soft looking card. Whoops, I should probably like, whoa, look at this. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Got a little too close there. This is a card that I made. Um, I think it was for, I think it was for a swap. And I just thought that was really cute with our heart punch, super simple. And again, using the amazing phrasing stamp set. That's another one of my faves. Really, really love that. And that is um, earned free with a $100 purchase. This card here, I thought was so clever. So she went ahead um, and put the DSP, the six by six in color DSP, laid it down, glued it, then ran it through the Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine uh, with this die that I think is in um, color, oh my gosh, color and contour, I think it's called. And it's a bundle in the annual catalog. Anyway, I love the way she used that paper and then cutting the die with it glued to it. I thought that was so cool to feature not only the hippos, but our beautiful newer in colors. One of my faves. And then this card right here was made by my friend, Kim Vogel. And she did use some of the um, paper, the silver paper, that's in the gold silver paper pack, the six by six pack that you can earn for free during celebration, along with coordinating it with the hippos. I just think that's a lot of fun. And then here is another card that she made as well. Again, also using that six by six silver and gold DSP that you can earn for free during celebration. And I just love the combination of the pink and the purples together. Here is another card that I made. This pack of paper is something that you can earn for free as a host with a $150 minimum order and it's found in the annual catalog, but you can get it any time of the year. But anyway, that's where that paper is from because I've had a couple people ask, where did you get that paper? I didn't see that paper. It's way in the back of the annual catalog. Kathy says she loves both cards, but probably the jingle, jingle, jingle. You're awesome. <laughs> Here's another card I believe, yep, Kim, my friend Kim made. 
And again, this time she used the gold from the gold and silver 6x6 DSP. You see a trend going here, huh? That you can earn for free during celebration along with the hippos. I, isn't that adorable? So cute. Um, here is another one, again, made by Kim. In fact, I actually got her card twice. Oh, I know what it was. I was in the same swap with her two different times. That's what it was. All right, this I made. Super cute, right? <laughs> I couldn't resist. I had to use the little goggles. Um, adorable. And then I believe we made this on a Facebook Live not that long ago featuring the stamp set Amazing Phrasing, which is a $100 item that you can earn for free during celebration, along with using the hippos. So I had to show that again. I just thought that was fun. And here are some swap cards that I really have to show off. I was showing my team these the other day. This one was made by Jeannie Scioli. Check this out. It's so cute. Um, I haven't done one of these in a while. It's one of those stand-up cards. So let me show you the side view of it. And it stands up like so. Isn't that cute? I love it. It's adorable. And then it folds down so you can put it inside of your envelope. Pretty clever. And let's see here. Another one. This one as well. This is so cute. So this was made by Judy Garza. And I need to take it out so you can get the full effect of it. First of all, I love the fact that we have very creative demonstrators out there. Um, I love the, <laughs> that she made this into a cow instead of a hippo. Like how clever is that? And then the way the card opens is just a lot of fun. A nice fun fold that is easy. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, so adorable. And here's another card. This one was made by Kelly Atchison and she too made the hippo into a cow. How clever, so stinking cute. And this paper is from the host pack of paper that's in the back of the July through December catalog. So if you have a $150 minimum order or you have a party with a couple people ordering, you can get this host pack of paper. This is another fun card. Um, this one's made by Kathy Miller. And I like that she used the same theme I did. <laughs> Those three newer in colors, a sweet sorbet, parakeet, party, and Tahitian Tide. Super cute. And the, I think she just used, because it's not the picture it died, because I think that has three holes in it, right? Three holes, holes, three circles. <laughs> I'm, I'm so goofy sometimes. Anyway, it looks like she just used a loose circle die on that one. Very cute. And it's stitched too, the stitched, if you guys can see that. So that just made it extra special. This is where it stunned my idea to make Christmas cards with the hippo. This card here was made by Ruth Bingle and it is absolutely adorable. It's another one of those stand-up cards. You can see again, they're super easy to make. I'll have to do um, one of these fun folds on our lives, right? And it stands up like that. I, I just think that that is so cute. Adorable. And I tell you what, I'll just show you a few more because I know we're getting on time here where it's been over an hour, I think. This one I thought was really cute. This is made by, it doesn't, oh, Greta, Greta Wilcher. And I like that she didn't even use the hippos themselves. She used all the bits and pieces from the dies that you can earn for a $50 purchase for free. Isn't that cute? And again, I like the fact that she used those three colors for a color combo. How fun. Very summery. And then there's this card. Oh, I don't have a name on this one. I apologize. But this was a swap card. 
wanted to show that. I thought that was really cute. And this uh, gingham paper is in our July through December catalog. And it's on the fall side-ish, but she used it in a totally different way, which I really loved. And let's see, what else can I show you here? Here's another one. This one does not have a name on it. I apologize. Again, it was a swap card. I love the simplicity of it. So cute. This was another swap card, and this does not have the name on the back of this one either. Um, but I like that she used the DSP that is available once again. You can earn for free during celebration as, as well as the hippos. And let's see here. Here's another one. This DSP, I cannot remember the name of it, but it's in our annual catalog. That I do remember. And I like that she uses this cute little umbrella. Isn't that adorable? Beautiful color combination. And this one was made by Karen Titus. And she used that beautiful, I think this is from the, oh gosh, it's butterflies and it's in the annual catalog and I cannot think of the name of it, but it's six by six paper. And I believe that that's from that paper pack. Of course, I can't think of it offhand, right? <laughs> anyway, I thought that was really cute. Um, I made this, so those of you who are my In Color Club received this card for this month's club. I like to make a card featuring that particular color that I'm sending out. So um, this may look familiar to some of you. And let's see, what else do I have? A couple more real quick. I thought that was cute. And this one was made by me. And then, <laughs> of course I think it's cute, right? I'm kidding. Anyway, I also made this card here and I used that uh, silver and gold DSP. And then this card was made by Lori Krauss and I just thought it was super cute using orchid opulence. And who knew, but I love the fact that she just went ahead and she <laughs> used some unusual color combinations for the hippo. I think it's great. I don't know about you guys, I love it. And I think that was all of them. So that gives you a lot of creative inspiration with the hippos. I wanna thank you guys once again for hanging out with me during Sunday Crafternoon with Dawn. I will be here next week. I have, I think I have some more celebration um, out of the celebration brochure to feature yet. So. Come out and hang with me. I'll give you guys some creative ideas as to what to use with that. And once again, if there's anything that you've seen that you would like, feel free to shop my online store. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me on a Sunday. I know there could be a lot of things that you could be doing, but um, I love having you here with me. And I hope to see you next week. Same time, same bat channel right here <laughs> at 1 o'clock Eastern Time. Thanks so much, you guys. Have a wonderful afternoon. Bye-bye.